What's up friends? I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to do a little bit different type of video. We are going to be doing mini reviews on a bunch of different brands that I think you may not have heard of. So in the last year or so I've really discovered a lot of new brands. I've tried a lot of new brands that I had never tried before and a lot of them are smaller, lesser known indie brands and I've just been really impressed by so many products I have in front of me and the brands as a whole. So I just wanted to spotlight those brands talk about them and they're going to kind of be speed reviews or this video will be really long but if you want a dedicated review on any of these brands and get more deep into the products and demo and stuff like that I would love to do that let me know down below in the comments you know which brands as you see them you'd be interested in and I would love to do that for you guys but before we get started make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more relatable beauty content and let's just get into the makeup So I really expanded my range of brands and beauty and products I tried over the last, I'd say six months to a year or so. And even in the last couple months, I've just really tried a couple brands that I've been really impressed by that I had never tried before. They're either newer, they're indie, they're lesser known. And I just wanted to talk about them with you guys. The first brand is one that's maybe more known because they were at Sephora now I don't think they are or they took some of their products out of Sephora it is Aether Beauty I have two products from them a lot of these brands I just have a few products that I've tried um, this is a considered clean beauty brand and eyeshadows I would say are their main focus they have eyeshadows blushes highlighters face palettes and then I know they have like a like priming oil that looks really beautiful it's like a bronze priming oil I've wanted to try their eyeshadows forever and just in the last, I don't know, three months I got my hands on a couple new palettes from them. This one is the Ametrine Mini Crystal Palette. This was sent to me in friend mail and this is the most beautiful mini palette that I have been traveling with. It's just my type of mauve shades. Sorry, there's eyeliner on my hand. But these eyeshadow shades are absolutely gorgeous. I also have the Moonstone Yes, it's called the Moonstone Palette. I can't find the name on here, but I know that's what it is. This I received in a Ipsy Glam Bag X box that I unboxed on here. These shades are so unique and beautiful. Like, just absolutely stunning, especially for a clean beauty brand. They are pricey, so I was happy to get this, you know, in different ways other than paying full price. But I love these shadows the formula of them is amazing and i think they're like cruelty free vegan all of that good stuff free of a lot of things and they have they're made in san francisco i believe made in the usa they're from san francisco and they have more eco-friendly packaging without a mirror there's no plastic on here which i love and i don't know the formula of these has just really really impressed me I need to get my hands on the Rose Quartz Palette. That has been on my wish list forever. I kind of wish I would have picked that one up during the Sephora sale. Maybe I still will. I got I got a different palette instead. I'm going to do a separate video on that that I'm not as impressed with. But if you haven't tried Aether Beauty and their shadows specifically, I haven't tried any of their face products, but I've just been so impressed by their eyeshadows. And I know in my little circle on Instagram they've been popular, but I'm not sure if, you know, they've really been talked about that much outside of that. But I've just been really, really impressed with the quality of these shadows, and I highly recommend them. They're pricey, but they're definitely worth it. I forgot to mention what got it all started was this single shadow I got in like a clean beauty box from last year. This was like supposed to be based on the Rose Quartz palette. Let me just swatch this for you. Like absolutely stunning. That was like a really fat swatch. But absolutely stunning. I just love their shadows. Okay, I'm done now. Since I was talking about my Glam Bag X, the products I received in that um, were all picked in collaboration with Halsey. She is a singer. She's super famous. If you don't know who she is, look her up. You'll know her songs. She is also very into makeup and recently came up with her own beauty brand called About Face. Now I have two of her products here. The Fluid Eye Paint which is a matte eye paint and then the Light Lock Highlighting Fluid. The highlighting Fluid I got that in the 
glam bag box and then this one was also sent to me in friend mail a friend on instagram just wasn't really into this kind of formula and i really wanted to try it so she was kind of send it to me i've just been really impressed with this um like packaging it's soft like touch packaging it has a doe foot applicator it this is like a kind of warm brown shade this is the shade cloned I just love this liquid shadow you know me I love cream and liquid shadows it's super blendable super easy to work with wears super well on the eyes you know by itself or underneath other shadows which is my favorite way to wear it I really want to try more shades of this and then the light lock highlighting fluid is absolutely gorgeous it comes off like this and then you get some liquid highlight in there. I've worn this a few times. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think in the summertime I'm going to mix this into some lotion because it's like a molten formula. I might have picked the lighter shade if I didn't get it in a, it in a subscription box. But just looking at About Face, they're coming out with a lot of innovative products, a lot of colorful, fun products, unique formulas, and just Trying these two products really gets me excited about trying more from them. I don't think that they are available in any like Ulta Sephora type retailer, but if you can get your hands on some of her products, I highly recommend. All right, the next brand I want to talk about is a brand that is really special to me because they are the first brand I ever collaborated with for an ad on Instagram. I did a reel with them. I will link it down below if you're curious about it. But the brand is Beauty Pie. They are a UK-based brand, and their concept is a little bit different. They have their own website, and then they're kind of like a... They describe themselves as... A sort of Costco for beauty. They have a really high-end makeup, skincare, fragrance, um, all sorts of beauty products. Like you can get everything you need on Beauty Pie's website. Luxury, luxury formulas, but you don't get all the markup for branding and packaging. I mean, there's nice packaging, but like the brands on the packaging. They sent me so many products. I have a face palette I really love from them. Really, really nice. I absolutely love their lip gloss. It is the Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil. One of my favorite lip glosses that I tried all year. It's just a really comfortable plumping formula. I have the shade Nude Nectar. Sorry, my fault. They have some lipstick that they sent me. This is the shade Bruised Berry. You can see that there. Just everything I've tried is really beautiful. I have their eyeliner and mascara in my everyday makeup bag right now. I also have some backup skincare that they sent me. I have their Hyaluronic Acid um, Deep Moisture Miracle Cream, their Super Healthy Hot Oil Double Cleansing Balm, and their eye cream. I have all of these open in my bathroom right now. I love their skincare. This line here is fragrance free. I think most of it's fragrance free. It's all in beautiful, sleek glass packaging. I absolutely love their packaging. I've loved everything I've tried. The cleansing balm is in a beautiful glass package as well. They also have like self tanning products. This is like a, it's called Awesome Bronze. It's like a shimmer oil lotion. I will definitely be getting use out of this in summer. And then I've also been using their self tanning drops, which I absolutely love. I just love everything I've tried from Beauty Pie. They're constantly coming out with new formulas. I saw they were coming out with concealer, different skincare options, and everything. Like, I think the cleansing balm is like $18. The moisturizer is, I think, under $20 as well. This lipstick is like $7 or $8, as well as the lip gloss. Everything I'm telling you is so affordable, and if you can try them out for a free month, their formulas are so good, and I just, I love everything I've tried. I need to make another Beauty Pie order because they are coming out with a lot of products I want to try. I want to try their cream blushes. I want to try their foundation. They have like a serum foundation that looks beautiful. I am just so impressed by them and I highly recommend you check them out. I do want to do, if you want a dedicated video where I can really dive deep into these formulas, let me know because I can do that because I definitely have enough products to do that, but I don't have time in this video. One product I meant, forgot to mention is another face palette they sent me, which literally looks like Hourglass. And I think this was $17, so gorgeous, gorgeous packaging, beautiful. 
The next brand that I've been trying a few products from and loving is Rowan Beauty. They are a small brand that was at Sephora, now I don't believe that they are. I've been testing out their 1111 eyeshadow palette. This kind of went viral on Instagram in the beauty space. This is a luxury brand, don't get it twisted. This is, I think, $48 for four eyeshadows. But the formula of these, to me, is absolutely stunning. I'm running out of room to swatch, but like, they're very, very foiled. A, a really unique formula that's kind of like gel to cream formula. They are a little bit finicky. You have to make sure that you use these correctly or they can crease. That's everybody's main complaint with these. But the creases tap out really easily and it looks like it never creased. And I find that if I use my Urban Decay Primer Potion, it works really well. I can definitely do a demo of this if you're interested in that. And then I've probably used this on this channel. You can see how much I've used of this. This is their liquid lip balm in the shade Charlie. This smells like mint. It, the formula is absolutely just gorgeous. I love the color. It's like the perfect fall lip gloss. It keeps the focus, it keeps focusing on my face and not the lip gloss. It's a perfect like dark nude lip gloss. This has enough pigment in it that you can just wear it over a liner. It fills in your lip lines. It gives your lip color. You don't need to wear lipstick under this, although sometimes I do just because I like to be bougie and wear as many products as I can sometimes. But I have not put this down. As you can see, I have a type with lip gloss. These two are like the exact almost same color and... This is going to definitely make it into my 2020 favorites. I absolutely love this formula. It is so good. Ugh, so good. I was just looking on Sephora. It does not look like Rowan is available on Sephora, just on their website from what I can tell. But they are just like a really small, um, clean beauty brand that I've been really impressed by. And I want to try more from them for sure. And then I saved probably the best for last. Not the best, but just the one I, I just have a soft spot for. It is... Phytosurgeons, you can just see here, I have quite a few products. So this is a brand that I know many of you have not heard of unless you are in the same circle on Instagram as me. The brand Phytosurgeons is a small Canadian brand. They're a little indie brand. They're LGBTQ owned. Um, the owners are just so kind and friendly. They're very interactive on Instagram. They involve their audience with their formulas and ideas and products they're coming out with, they interact with you when you post about their products. And that's not all, their formulas are absolutely amazing. So they make a lot of like cream products. They have cream blushes, cream eyeshadows, eyeshadow toppers, and then a really unique highlight that everyone raves about. Let's talk about the highlight first. So this is the Spectral Shine Highlight in the shade Mirrored Moonlight. So this is a really unique like cream to powder formula. I'm wearing it right now. You really, really have to swirl your brush in, and I recently got, they just came out with brushes. They came out with a brush that's specifically for their highlighter. This is the Sky Buff brush. You really just swirl this in quite a few times, and then just buff this onto your face, and the, the brush is perfect. This gives like a lit from within glow. You're not really sure if it's doing anything until you turn your head to the side. It's not shimmery. It's not sparkly. Mirror Moonlight is a perfect shade for me. It's gorgeous. The other product that I absolutely love from them, probably the most, is their blushes. I have the shades Smolder, which I just recently got this week, and then Fume, which is like a nude pink. And it's like a me shade. But then I wanted something a little more nude. And I got the shade Smolder, which I'm wearing right now. Stunning. They're like a matte cream that's really easy to blend. And then they also came out with a brush that I got two of them. The Sky, mm, I keep getting them confused, Sky Fluff. This just buffs your blush so perfectly. It's gorgeous. They also have cream eyeshadows that are called their Flash fluorescence eyeshadows. I have two shades. I have the shade Deeply Rooted, which is like a purpley taupe brown type of shade. And then they also sent me Velvet Leaf in my last order that I just received. This is like their green, olive green type shade. I got this for free in my order because they said there's a few that had kind of a layer over it from sitting out in the sun. Nothing was wrong with it. You just 
have to get kind of rub through that layer and I cannot wait to put this all over my eyes. It would look really good with me right now. So they also came out with eyeshadow toppers. They are also considered part of their flash fluorescence eyeshadow line. It's called the In Bloom Collection. I got two shades. I got the shade Wild Wisteria. So these are meant to be more glittery toppers. And then Fractal Freesia, which is like more of a nude sparkle. I would say these are probably the products that I reach for the least. They're nice, but they're a little bit chunky in my opinion. But really nice as you can see. I just don't reach for them as much as like the really pigmented cream shadows that I love. I just love them as a brand. I'm really impressed by everything I've tried and I'm obsessed with these brushes. I literally just used these for the first time before this video. And they also have skincare. I'm really curious about their skincare. I've heard good things. And if you haven't had a chance to check out Phytosurgeons, I highly recommend it. Their products are in their Canadian brand, but like when you switch it to US dollars, like the blushes are like 18 or $16, super affordable. Um, the This brush was like $16. Everything's really, really affordable. I think the highlight is a little bit more expensive, maybe 30 or something like that. I can link it all down below. I just had to mention them if you haven't tried anything from Phytosurgeons or if you've been hearing about them and you're curious, I highly, highly recommend that you try out their formulas, especially the blushes, especially the brushes and the highlight. Those are definitely my favorite products. So that's it for me rambling about brands that I think you need to try. If you have any brands that you're curious about hearing more of in this video, let me know down below and I can do a dedicated video on some of these brands and talk more in depth about the formulas, try them on for you. I would love to do that. Also let me know what are brands that you think I need to try that are your favorite, you know, kind of smaller, lesser known brands. I would love to know and give them a try. As always, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and we will see you in my next video. Bye.